hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Temi Banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this beautiful channel so if you are a dummy like me and you want to know the meaning of intermittent fasting guess what welcome to school take a seat bring out a paper and biro and let's get right into today's video <laughs> Alright, so before I start, my neighbor's generator is on and if you don't know what a generator is, it's a generator set for electricity here in Nigeria. We do not have constant electricity, so we use generator to generate electricity. So you might be hearing that even with the fact that I'm using a microphone. So please kindly ignore that and let's just jump right into today's video. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about intermittent fasting. I know you've been hearing it everywhere on the internet. In your class where you work if you go to the hospital on Twitter Facebook Instagram YouTube everywhere people talk about intermittent fasting and if you want to get an in-depth knowledge about intermittent fasting this is the right video for you I have a book here where I have written everything I'm going to be telling you guys down so I might be looking down sometimes just ignore me so the first thing is going to be the definition of intermittent fasting Definition of intermittent fasting is when you fast, you do not eat for some time and then you eat later on. So I'm trying to explain this in a layman's term. I'm trying to explain this like I'm explaining it to a five year old. So it just means that for a certain time you eat and for a certain time you do not eat. Is that clear? So the period where you are not eating, your body is doing the fasting for you. You don't even have to do anything. All you have to do is stop eating. And when you begin to eat, that's your eating window when it's called, that's why it's called the intermittent fasting. So number two, what are the types of intermittent fasting we have? We have the alternative day fasting and we have the daily fast. So the alternative day fasting is where you eat one day. The following day, you do not eat. That's the alternative day fasting. You eat one day. The following day, you do not eat at all. Meanwhile, the daily fasting is where you eat every single day, but you have windows where you eat and windows where you fast. So for daily fasting, you can have the 16 8 window. You can have the 20 and four window that means you fast for 16 hours and you eat for eight hours not that you eat every single hour in the eight hours but you know that window where it is the eight hour you eat probably your first meal of the day your lunch and your dinner for that eight hours window I hope that's understood. So the most common asked question is what can I eat or what can I have when I'm fasting? Or some people will be asking me, oh, can I take this when I'm fasting? Can I take that when you're fasting? You cannot eat when you are fasting. The only things you're allowed to have is water. You're allowed to drink tea. You're allowed to take black coffee, no milk, no sugar. And you're allowed to take maybe apple cider vinegar in your water or in your tea. You are not meant to take anything that has more than 20, more than 10 calories once you do that you break the fast that's what it means when they say break fast so once you take anything more than 10 calories you break the fast and you do not want to do that because you stop the fasting process that is going on in your body so make sure you do not eat anything you do not chew anything because when you do so you break the fast so if you're a beginner and you want to start fasting i would like you to start with the 18 um, 16 8 window where whereby you fast for 16 hours and in when it is the, your 8 hour window you have your meal so let's say you start your fast by 8 p.m. in the night your last meal is going to be by 8 p.m. in the night so you count 16 hours to the following day so let's count it together 8 p.m. you had your last meal so let's go 9 10 11 12 one two three four five six this is ten hours seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is sixteen hours so you fasted for sixteen hours and your eating window starts by 12 p.m so you can eat from 12 p.m to 8 hours time so let's count again from 12 p.m which is your eating window will count eight hours so one two three four five 
six, seven, and eight. So once it is eight o'clock again, you stop eating. That is how easy it is. So you might be wondering, oh, thank God my neighbor's gen is off. Okay, so you might be wondering, why should I be fasting? What are the benefits of fasting? Why do I have to starve myself instead of eating good food and putting food in my body? Let me tell you why intermittent fasting is good for you. Number one and most common reason to fast is weight loss. When you fast, you make your body use alternative source of energy because you're not giving your body food. It hasn't had food for the past 12 to 16 hours. Your body doesn't have food to give you, to carry out your daily activities. So it begins to use stored fat in your body and that way you begin to burn fat and you lose weight so it gives you energy or it gives you energy with stored fat that is what you are going to use to carry out your daily activities so the number one reason why you should fast is weight loss number two reason is if you're trying to reduce your blood sugar or maybe the doctor has said you should go on a fast you know to reduce your blood sugar intermittent fasting should be the number one thing you should think of because when you fast it lowers your insulin and your blood sugar goes down because you're not having anything for that moment when you fast you know your body is at rest and everything goes down and that re reduces your blood sugar drastically which brings us to our next point which is reducing the insulin in your body so it also reduces the insulin in your body the same way the same process i explained the weight loss and the blood sugar one your insulin goes down and your body begins to use um stored fat to give you energy so the moment you take uh, you, so the moment you take anything more than 10 calories again your insulin comes back up and you stop the whole process of fat burning that's when you break the fast so you do not want to break the fast you want to keep the fast going you can have just water tea and so on and so forth also research has shown that fasting can help to reduce the risk of cancer because you tend to starve those cancerous cells and they shrink and die off and so on and so forth i haven't done any research on that so i'm just bringing this to you based on what i saw next would be for longevity i know people who do the omar diet for longevity alone because they have a history of um they, their family has history of cancer so they do the OMAD diet in order to have a long, longer and fulfilling life. And what do I mean by that? When you fast, I mean when there is no food in your stomach, when you are done eating and you're fasting, your body has taken time off from breaking down food, you know, processing it, doing all sorts of digestive, <laughs> digestive work, and it has turned to start you know repairing your body i don't know if you get that so it's just like i'm here now people are bombarding me with work 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 and then after some time they don't give me work to do what do i do i begin to work on myself i begin to work on my my surrounding i begin to clean it up i'm no more doing the work that people are giving me to do i don't know if you get that but let me take it again so when you do not eat when you fast hmm? your body takes time and like it goes away from digesting food to repairing your body and just taking care of your body making sure everything is right so the moment you eat again your body goes back to working on digesting your food capish <laughs> all right so some people can be wondering who should fast who can fast everybody can fast except except toddlers some toddlers can fast i don't know but i think everybody can fast no matter your age because the reason why it is even easy to fast because you are doing most of the fasting in your sleep throughout the night so imagine if you stop eating by like 7 p.m 8 p.m until the next day your body is in the process of fasting that is what it is called so everybody should try and fast and i hold fasting dearly to my heart because not just for weight loss not just for lowering blood sugar but also for body repair for 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 reducing the risk of sicknesses and so on and so forth so fasting is something i do religious 
religiously and that has helped me a lot in keeping my skin clear in keeping my my weight down and so many other good things so if this video was helpful which i know it was kindly give this video a thumbs up if you made it up to this point and uh, remember to subscribe hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up also hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads and i would like to see you in the next one you're about to click on you can check out my videos which will appear here and here and do have a lovely day and see you in the next one you're about to click on bye